Hi booktube, Lynette here and in this video I'm going to tell you about the books that I plan to read in the month of October or more specifically what my reading plans are for the month of October. I am going to continue the theme that I started in September um, but first of all I'm going to tell you about the books that I have to read in the month of October. So there are three books that I have to read in the month of October, one of those is for the in-depth read-along, one of those is an advanced reader copy and one of those is my book club pick. Um, so the first book that I have to read this month is Witness in Death by J.D. Robb. This is the 10th book in her In Death series and again it's about um, Eve Dallas and Rourke and Eve is a New York police um, and security detective with the homicide division and in this book as with all the previous books she has some murders to solve. In this book the murder she has to solve is a very public and very um, much followed by the media uh, murder so there is a lot of pressure on Eve this time around to solve the murder especially when it, they, she finds out that once again her husband has involvement with the building in which the um the, the murder happened and yes so it's very high profile this one and again I'm looking forward to reading it I really love uh, the way that JD Robb has written this series I'm really getting to grips with it now and I look forward to each and every one as it comes along so this one is going to be no exception. And the next book that I have to read in the month of October is an advanced reader copy from NetGalley, which I've received in return for um, a fair and honest opinion and review. And this book is The Thousand Deaths of Ardor Ben by Tyler Whiteside. This is about a young man called Ardor Ben who is a master thief and he is hired by a mysterious priest to carry out a heist of mysterious nature he has to attempt assemble a crack team of um like-minded thieves and forgers and uh master yeah you know you think of the crime they're involved and it turns out that actually this heist could be the difference between the end of the world or not um, I don't really know anything else about it than that. It is a fantasy novel. It sounds along similar lines to um, the The Lies of Lamora by Scott Lynch. Um, and I think there's a couple of other similar type series out there. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading it. I have to read it by the middle of the month. So I need to get on with that fairly soon because we're already four days in. Um, so I need to get started on this one. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I I like I like I like fantasy novels anyway so um, this sounds as though it uh, could be a good fit for me and my reading and the final book that I have to read this month is the book club pick and that is My Sister the Serial Killer by and I'm going to butcher this now so excuse me while I read it off the page um, the author's name is Oyinkin Braithwaite um, I really am sorry if I've butchered that. Uh, but this is about a young woman whose sister has gotten into the habit of murdering her boyfriends. And she's now um, received a phone call. The book starts out with her getting a phone call from her sister asking for help because she needs to dispose of yet another one. Uh, we've picked this one because it's a thriller type suspense uh, with it being the month of October and Halloween at the end of the month we wanted to go some, along the lines of something a bit more um, spooky and, and, and um, suspenseful uh, just to rack up the atmosphere for the for this month uh, and again I've, I've seen lots about it on booktube it seems to be a book that when it came out it was absolutely loved so I'm looking forward to reading it and I'm hoping that it actually lives up to all the hype that I've heard about it. And now the rest of my reading plans for this month. Um, I was talking to a friend recently um, and they know who they are. If they're watching, this is your fault. I We were talking about the number of books I was reading and I confessed that I've got about eight, maybe nine books on the go at the moment. Um, 
that I've started and not finished. A couple of those are on the, one of them especially is on the I'm going to get to it at some point um, list because I'm really just struggling with it. Uh, but yes, so I'm going to continue the theme of September and I'm going to try and finish or try and make progress with some of these books that I already have on the go. The first one's going to be quite easy. First one is an audiobook, and that is Soulless by Gail Carragher. Uh, this is a paranormal romance novel, and the main character, um, she has, I don't, I've not come across this sort of uh, paranormal before. She's a supernormal, I think, rather than a paranormal. Um, but when other paranormals get near to her, they lose all their paranormal abilities. So if they're a werewolf, they can't shift. If they're a vampire, they can't bite and drink blood. Um, if they're a ghost, they become corporeal, I think. So there's all these different um, um, elements to it. But she's investigating a crime and she's being assisted by the leader of the local werewolf pack. Um, who also is attracted to her and I think I'm getting to the stage in the book where he's realising she is his forever mate. Um, like I say, it's an audio book so I'm going to make the effort, I'm going to stop listening to music on my, because I walk to work and back, it was only work about a 10-15 minute walk away uh, from my home, so I'm going to listen to this instead. I listen to it on 1.5 speed so I, in that 10 15 minute walk i can get 15 20 minutes of it read so there's no excuse why i can't make really good progress i think i'm almost halfway through it anyway so hopefully i can get this one finished this month and maybe i can add another finish to the list uh so that's the first one i'm going to read the the second one that I'm going to read is a book that I've had ongoing for a few months now. That is The Knights of Neustria, in the, which is the third book in the Secret Breaker series by H.L. Dennis. Um, again, this is a series of books, as I've explained before, that are following a group of people who are trying to uncover the secrets of a mystery document that is unreadable. And in this book, as in the previous two books and in the following three books, they are following clues um, to try and help them break the mystery of this document. I only have about 120 pages of it left to read. I can read about one and a half to two pages a minute of this, so there is no reason why I can't finish this quite quickly. I think if I actually take this book to work with me, um, within a week I could probably finish this one quite easily just reading it in my lunch break. I get about 20 minutes to half an hour to read um, during my lunch break. So there is no reason why I can't finish this one as well this month. The next one that I'm going to try and make some progress with is one that I've had on going for a few months now and that is one that I was supposed to be reading for Romanceopoly and I think because of this book I am not going to complete my Romanceopoly board for the year. Um, yeah, I've got a lot to do to, to complete that now. Um, but this book is Lorna Doon by R.D. Blackmore. As I've said in my previous few videos about um, what I want to read and in my wrap ups, I'm finding it tough going, but I think it's possibly just the version that I've got rather than the actual story itself. So I am going to do my best to make. I'm not going to try and finish it. I'm just going to make progress with it. Um, even if I just read another 50 or so pages, at least I will have made some more progress this month. The next book that I'm going to finish is The Secrets of Strangers by <coughs> Charity Norman. And this book was the book club pick for September, only I didn't finish it in time for the book club meeting. So I'm probably going to finish this one quite quickly as well. This is probably going to be the one that I read at home um, in the evenings until this one's done. I'm almost halfway through it really really enjoying it it's about a group of people who have been taken hostage in a london cafe and it's all about the different things that are going on in their lives things that might actually prevent them from um being able to um get out of this situation alive uh, so we will see where that one goes and again that one is one that i'm definitely going to finish 
So the next book that I'm intending to finish, and that's if I bother to pick it up, and I probably will because it's going to be a nice quick read for me, and that is Her Husband's Harlot by Grace Calloway. And this is an historical romance novel. It's about the Lady Helen and Lord Nicholas of Hertford, and they are a newlywed couple, and unfortunately their wedding night didn't go quite to plan. Uh, Lady Helen thinks that he doesn't desire her, Lord Nicholas thinks he did it all wrong and basically it's how they discover each other sexually um, and further their actual marriage and come together. Um, no pun intended. Uh, so that one should be quite a quick and easy read for me. Um, again, I'll probably finish it quite quickly in the month um, because it will give me some nice lighter reading in between some of the heavier stuff that's on the go at the moment as well and the final book I'm going to try and make some progress with is The Shadow Rising by Robert Jordan um, as I've said before this is a thousand page book there is about 10 different points of view to follow in this book there is lots of information going on there are lots of different um there are lots of different races and, and different peoples to follow and different customs to keep abreast of. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's just proving a very dense read and I'm really struggling, but I am about two thirds, nearly three quarters of the way through it. Uh, so I am wanting to make a bit more progress with it this month. Uh, I think it's probably going to be read nearer the end of the month if I do get to any of it at all. Um, and I'll just see how I go from there. So those are the books that I'm going to try and make progress with. If I make progress, if I finish any, there are some others. Uh, like I say, I think I've got about eight or nine um, books that are started. But um, yeah, I'm a serial starter. Let's put it that way. Uh, so I'm just going to mention the other three books that I can think of off the top of my head that I know are in progress but maybe I haven't touched for a while. The first one of those is Magic which is book one of the Septimus Heap series by Angie Sage. Um, I started this book more than 12 months ago, um, that's as far as I got with it. Uh, yeah, I need to read it. This book was given to me by my sister to read. It was given to her for my nephew. And she was a bit concerned that maybe some of the themes in it might be a bit too adult for him. Um, the fact that he's now finished Harry Potter, um, all of them, I really don't think uh, that the, some of the themes in here would be too adult for him. I think he'd manage them quite easily. Uh, so I am... At some point I need to finish this because I need to give it back to her and let her know whether my nephew should read it or not, whether I think he'd enjoy it. What I remember of the first few pages, um, I think he probably would. Uh, it's magic and fantasy and children and, yes, evil versus good. Um, so if I manage to get any further into it, I might actually restart it. Um, rather than carry on from where I am, but uh, yeah, I'll uh, if I'm I might try and get to this one um, as well this month. And then the final two books I am not going to get to this month. The next book is the second book in the Game of Thrones series, which is A Clash of Kings. I've attempted to read this book I think five times now. I am further into it than I've ever been and I think that's because I listened to it as an audiobook back in March uh, when I went away on a reading retreat and I actually listened to it um, the retreat was actually a five-hour drive for me and I actually listened to it all the way there and all the way home so I got uh, but because I listened to it on one and a half speed I got more than 10 hours into it um, so I did I really I'm enjoying them I just that again like the um, series by Robert Jordan there is a lot of information in them there are a lot of people to keep track of there are a lot of names to remember there are a lot of different um, areas of the world to think about and customs and religions and yes it's just lots and lots of information and at the moment 
um, with having the Robert Jordan series, Wheel of Time series on the go, I really don't think I could actually pick that one up again at the moment. And then the final one that I can remember off the top of my head that I have been reading is Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is the second book in her um, Outlander series, which is a series about a woman from the 1940s who is dragged back in time to the late 1700s, to around the time of the battle. Oh, I think she's within a year or two before the Battle of Culloden. And it's romance. She meets um, a young man who she falls in love with and back in this time, well, she's actually forced to marry him. Um, it's not a choice, but through that, um, they actually do spend time together and fall in love. A little bit of Stockholm Syndrome, I think. Um, but there is genuine love there. Uh, it was adapted to a TV series about five years ago now. Um, I am not up to date with the TV series. I haven't watched the latest series, but I have thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Um, and I've been trying to read the books alongside, but I just got stuck with book two. I'm about halfway through. They've gone to France. They are now directly trying to influence Bonnie Prince Charlie away from the rebellion, which ended in the Battle of Culloden. Um, and it's all about those meetings. And I'm, I was enjoying it. Uh, like I say, again, it's just so much information to take in, so much to remember um, that I did put it to one side for a while and didn't actually pick it up again. So I'm hoping to get to it again, hopefully read some more of it before the end of the year. It's highly unlikely I'm going to pick it up in October, but I shall just see how I get on. So those are my reading plans for October. I'm going to be forcing myself to read books that I'm maybe not in the mood for because I am a mood reader mostly. Um, I think that by the end of the month I could be seeing a reading slump coming on. So my friend who laughed at me, if you are watching this, if I am in a reading slump at the end of October because I'm trying to finish the books that I've got on the go because you laughed at me, you owe me a book. Um, and I will be claiming it, um, don't you worry. Uh, so yes, um, I'm hoping if I can break up, if I can read some of these books early in the month and maybe break it up with a little bit of the romance that I've got on the go, so the In Deaths book and the Grace Calloway book, I'm hoping I can avoid the reading slump. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to struggle a little bit. Um, and I will let you all know, as usual, how I've got on um, at the start of November. What have you planned to read in October? How are your reading plans going so far? I hope, like me, uh, you aren't heading for a slump. I hope that you're enjoying everything you're reading. I hope you're reading what you want to read. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all again soon in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.